as you can see, look at that, look at that. That just look like I just got a blowout from the Dominicanos, the Mamacita. As you can see in that thumbnail, we're doing a huge transformation on a Beauty Forever unit that I have sitting around. And I love Beauty Forever units. I always get them super long because I love their hair. Their hair is always super soft and really nice. But I'm really tired of long lengths. So as you can see, I'm layered up mommy. I remember the first time when I finessed me a good layered sew-in, okay? And I was so happy about it. But the thing is, when you don't have a lot of hair during the time it was like you were forced to be stuck with this layered unit and you want it to be super long so i tried to learn how to do layers for longer units shorter units um that i've made for myself and also like medium length and this is more so my i want to say my medium length because my long lengths, this like 20 inches is still on to me. This was actually a 24 inch unit, but I cut it up to you might as well like say like a 18 inch, I guess. But I think this is still really, really a nice length for you know, very suitable for every age group. So if you guys want to see how I got this, please continue to watch, right, guys. So this is like hours later. I actually had to eat with Bay because we was hungry and he just got in, so I missed him. And he's back in my life. Uh, he was in California. Yes. 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 So, you know, got a little detachment from the front a little bit. But uh, we won't talk about it. I'm just kidding. I don't know why that lifted up. But all right, cool. So let's get to cutting. Let's get to styling. I wore a white tee, a little dingy white tee. It's not dingy. It's definitely clean. But I wore a white tee because I wanted you guys to actually see the process because I wanted it to be like a detailed tutorial because I be, I be really going ham. But I'm not going to talk that much about just random shit just because, you know, this is like a tutorial or whatever. It's just like, you know, this hair is so pretty. Look at how nice it is. You know, after laying the frontal down and making it look all snatchified, then it's just like, oh, okay, here I go, about to cut into it. This is, and cut it, shall we? Cut it, cut it, cut it. You get me? All right, that's a little cute thumbnail, whatever. So now you gotta just make sure this side is just a little, a little like the same. That's that. And then I'm going to take off, um, take the top down. Take the top off the made back, you know? And I'm gonna just brush through this so it's even, Steven. Hit a nice little chop like that at the front. Okay, because I want it to be like real like choppy a little bit for right now and then we're gonna go in and just finesse I want to get a monitor for my videos and stuff so I can really see what's going on kid because I be blind so I'm definitely gonna get more studio equipment all right so then here we go we start like breaking so it doesn't look so blunt on the on the sides and then I start going in the back of the hair or the sides of the hair and then I start combing this part out just to see what we're talking about and then I start getting into this layered situation we want this to look fire too and the bigger that your hair looks at the top doing this the nicer it's going to lay when you curl it so we just gonna speed this up or put some music on so y'all don't have to hear it, but y'all can see it.
right, so you guys know I take this section. Well, if you don't know, I take this section and I make it like shorter than the rest. But I like going in with the scissors to do this one. And I try to make it pretty even, so I kind of go in blunt first. Cool. So now this is definitely like the length that I was looking for. Just cut off some extra, extra inches. So now we're about to curl this bad joint. Thank you. 
ever. As you can see, look at that. Look at that. That just looks like I just got a blowout from the Dominicanos, the Mamacita. Now, sometimes I be like ODing and I make layers all up in here so it can be really like extra layered up up in there in the center. But I didn't want that look today. I like, I wanted another one to be like kind of subtle but still like, you know, if I pop it on, it looks like I put some elbow grease all up in it. And that I actually did. Like, I'm just trying to get this part right. I know y'all like, girl, leave it alone. But I ain't gonna leave it alone until I get to how I want it. Um, fly away tamer. I'm gonna just put this one on because I don't know. I don't know where the other one is. But this is my professional one. Just to lay these little guys down up here. And this is the Remy Bobo's Professional Styling Stick Wax. I got mine from my local beauty supplies. This damn thing on its own. I don't want to put too much pressure on her. So, just use the heat on your hot tool just to lay down anything extra. I like this um, the stick a little better than the other one that I was using because the other one was making like a white cast on my hair and then I had to do the most to like get rid of it. So yeah. Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm not going to put any makeup on. I'm going to move on with my life <laughs> without the makeup, just doing my hair. I love you, and I'll see you guys in my next one.